Hello to my mighty Leos. Oh, August babies. Let's see what's going on for you. So if this is your first time here, hi, how are you doing? I'm going to do as my gift to you. I am going to do a full 2021 astrology based card reading. We go month by month, season by season. Um, top row is going to be uh, winter, spring, summer, and fall for your love life. Bottom row is going to be winter, spring, summer, fall for your money. And I'll go over all the cards. And if you get a chance, I'm happy to do this for you. It's my gift to you. But don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Absolutely subscribe because I put out a ton of content. And we do everything here from makeup to manifesting to magic. I do tarot card reading at least one, at least one free one per week. And I do a lot of giveaways also. So I'm doing 12 this week. So woo, watch out. So... Let's get you started, Leos. I gotta tell you something. I'm a Virgo. I'm gonna admit something. This is just between you and me, Leo. You guys are hot. You guys are out of control. My ex-husband was a Leo. I love my life was a Leo. Like, oh my goodness, so much. You guys are heartbreakers. I don't know, something about Leos. And now it's like whenever I meet a Leo, I'm like, get away from me. Get away. You're too, you're too, too hot to handle. Everybody talks about Scorpios being sexual. My goodness, Leos, you're always the cutest ones, the hottest ones. The spotlight always shines on a Leo. So let's see here. So we're going to do winter, spring, summer, and fall. This is about your love, but I mean, you got money cards coming up. Okay, so Leos, for your money life, winter, spring, summer, and fall. And if you hear weird noises in the background, I do have two dogs that, um, well, one is napping and the other one is getting up, walking around and uh, making noises. So if you do hear weird stuff, it's not me. I promise you, it's probably a chihuahua. Okay. So it'll just add to the ambiance. It's like you're actually here. If only you could smell her breath. So winter. So this coming up, so this is for 2021. So coming up, January, February, March. Your love life. I, what did I tell you? I shuffled these on camera, okay? What did I tell you? Love life. Boom. Sword. Sword up. Okay, so love life is going to be pretty hot. I mean, there is de definitely sexual energy. <laughs> First, really? 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 First card. Lovers. Okay. It's two of cups, but it's a lover's card. Second card. Loving card. Wheel of Fortune. So, Leos, what did I just say? You're the sexiest, loviest, uh, star shiniest of the of the zodiac. I gotta take a quick. I do have some tea here. And look at, do you see my cup? One of my friends bought this for Witch's Brew. I don't know if I can say her name on camera, but one of my beautiful clients got this for me. I'm gonna take a sip. Mm. And it actually is mushroom tea, not that kind of mushrooms, but. Like Rishi and Chaga and all those over-the-counter mushrooms. Okay. Sheesh. I need to take a drink, cool down from that. Let's just put it this way. The first three months of the year, you can't do any wrong in your love life. It is going to be, if you're having trouble with one, just switch to the other. I mean, it's just like flashing red lights. Sex, sex, sex. Love, love, love. January, February, March, you're, you're just out of control. Good for you, by the way. I mean, no shade. But I think that's all I got to say about that one. So let's see what's going on. So if you're having relationship problems, just walk out your front door, Leo, because you're going to get hit by a new partner, <laughs> basically. Uh, let's see. Now, coming into spring, it does say you're going to be a bit more of a caretaker. So enjoy that energy being given to you January, February, March, because April, May, June, it does say that you're going to have to, you're going to have to be giving. You're going to have to, there's, there's a card there actually. It's, it's a card. It's a little bit of a neediness or desperation card. So let's not fall into that trap, but let's see what it's all about here. It says happy couplehood. So you're you know, up and down couplehood. Okay. Yeah. It says there's going to be a lot of the dance, the back and forth. Okay. Oh yeah. This is, this is all about things not being fair, things not being equal, or at least you feel like they aren't. Okay. So if you're in a current committed relationship, there's going to be a lot of turmoil in spring, up, down, back, forth. But I don't see a breakup here. So that's, that's actually really good. 
I don't see a breakup. I don't see you guys hating each other, but I do see it going from honeymoon to your clothes are on the front lawn, like probably every couple weeks. All right. So just ride it through. If you can get through spring, I think you'll be fine. So that's April, May, and June. And I just typically move the cards out of the way just to, because I like to spread a lot of cards out. Okay. So let's get into summer here, July, August, September. It says your love life is going to be, this is the card of making your own luck. And that's you, Leos. I mean, if anybody makes their own luck, you guys do. Especially in the love department. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. You are going to have to work triple, double, quadruple overtime. And this probably has to do with that relationship that we saw in April, May, and June. It says there's going to be people around you that want to take from your energy or want to... Um, they're, they're, remember I said there was there's going to be this... Okay. And there's going to be like, you know, a lot of the, a lot of hand driving going on. Okay. There's going to be a lot of, um, exchange of energy with this person. So also Leo's, I do know you, not only are you sexy and you're, you know, just light up a room, but also chaos tends to either follow you or be generated. Okay. Um, I'm not saying by you just by your presence. So that relationship is going to be doing the up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, this is going to be more where there you're in a good place. You're going to be in a good place emotionally and physically, but they're going to be taking from you. Okay. There's going to, it says there's going to be a lot of people that are going to say you owe them or, or you got to do things for them or whatever, but it's a lot of taking energy. Okay. So be careful about that. Um, I don't see anything terrible happening. Again, I don't necessarily see a breakup, but it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Coming into the end of the year, this is my, I call this my haughty queen, which there could not be a more Leo card. Honestly, really, the strength card has a lion in it, but this one, it's the queen of cups. It's, it's the card, whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. This is the card of like, I'm a showy bitch. Okay. All in gold with my fabulousness. Love the queen of cups. Love her. She's a haughty, haughty thing. So, and you can tell by my nails that, you know, I'm, I'm all about being low key. These are like neutrals for me. Ah, and Christmas is over. So I'm going to, oh, I'm trying to get in the camera here. Christmas is over. I'm going to have to retire these. Okay. So maybe next video you won't see these anymore. Okay. Queen of Cups. What happens in fall for you, Leo? October, November, December. Yeah, my, okay. Yep. Okay. It does seem like that relationship, it may come to an end or it may just come to, we got to take a month or two off. Okay. I'm not seeing a definitive breakup here, but what I'm seeing is you getting kind of sick of it. You sick of the up and down, up and down because drama can be fun because the, the making up after the breakup is usually pretty fun. Right. But this just shows you're, you're done. You, you fallen out of love with the drama and this shows you emotionally pulling back. And then it says, it's not a good time to be a couple. It's not a good time to be together. Okay. But the foundation card is you. So it does show that it's going to come from your energy. It's not going to be like somebody's going to leave you or break up with you. You're going to decide, I need to preserve myself here and I need to go forward and I need to be the fabulous lion that I am. And that's okay. Okay. So you can do that. Again, I don't see a traumatic turmoil breakup. I don't, it's not like anybody's going to be killing each other or getting, you know, you know, PFAs, or it's not going to be drama, drama, drama. It's going to, it's just going to be one day you're going to go, I'm sick of the back and forth. I got to go. And you still can possibly, actually, let me check. I don't do this for anybody, but Leo's, oh, Leo's, you got me. You, you got me. Let me see if the relationship does get back together. Yeah, it probably does. First card, the world, things, things come back around. So that relationship is just going to be a headache or it's, it's going to be a learning experience. I don't see it really hurting you. I don't see you actually having like damage from it. So that's, that's pretty good, but it's going to be up down relationship. Enjoy, enjoy that first three months of the year though. Oh my goodness. Tell me about it. So, well, don't tell me about it, but you know, tell me about it. So Leo's let's see money wise what's going on. You have excellent cards, by the way already. So your base cards are really good. So for winter, okay, we have sadness being over. I mean, we all know 2021 sucked for money. I don't know anybody that was like, I love 2020 for money. It was great. No, it, but this shows you healing a lot. This shows sad times being over and good things happening. So let's see what January, February have to January, February, March. Yep. 
This is my, yeah, you're going to have so much money. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the other Leo card. See, you come up, you always come up aces, Leos, don't you? So this shows that you come to a very big decision about your money. You're probably going to have, if you haven't already, you're going to make a money plan, okay? And then it says you have enough money that you're going to start saving it. Could be saving, could be investing, okay? Either one of those with this card, okay? And then it says that you are going to start the year off in a, uh, a strength position. Again, I really actually see investing here. Now, this could be investing in like real estate. This could be investing in the stocks, or this could just be investing, bumping up your 401k or investing in things that you already could be investing in your home. There's going to be an investment here that strengthens your base very well. Okay. Leo's in love and in money, you start out the year excellent. Now, spring. Spring is awesome because you show up as the magician. Of course you do, Leos. Of course you do. Okay. So what is the magician? The master manifester. I also teach manifesting. I have really, and even if you have been a manifester for 20 years, I guarantee I can help you. So link down below for manifestation coaching as well. Okay. What is the magician? The magician embodies every part of the deck. Okay. As the number one card. This is like universal knowledge, okay? You can just tap into inspiration and, and just knowing all sorts of stuff. So for your spring, your April, May, June, Leos, let's see what happens. I mean, you got some good stuff going on. Yep. There's that love, that back in and out love. Okay. Possible change. Let's see. Okay. If you have a partner, not so much a romance partner, but a business partner, and this could be a coworker, this could be a boss, this could be um, somebody doing your invest investments also. It says you, you are going to know something. You are psychically going to be like, something's not right. And you're going to catch this person not working in your best interest. Okay. They're going to either split and then you're going to find some stuff out or you're going to confront them and they're going to skedaddle. Okay. But either way they leave the picture. Okay. And this could just be a boss. I actually had this happen with a lady uh, the other day. She was uh, very similar cards. And I said, no, 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 no. You're going to find something out. And if you confront them, they're going to leave. And um, she actually found some really scandalous emails, not nothing sexual, but like bad emails in the business. This was a business account. And that Monday, that executive never came into work and nobody heard from him since. So interesting. So it could be a situation like that you're facing, but it says, don't, don't worry about you protect yourself, especially in that, um, January, February, March time period, because it does look like you're going to be doing very well, protect yourself as much as you can there, because it seems like April, May, June, there's going to be a little dust up, but it shows you landing on your feet like the kitty cat that you are. Okay. And by kitty cat, I mean lion and tiger and puma that you are. Okay. I would never say cougar. I don't know your age. I would never. Okay. So let's see, Leos, what happens in fall with your money. This is a very good card. This is a card of stability, and this means things coming back around again. So don't worry about that death card. That's not a bad thing. Okay. So summer is July, August, September. It says you're going to have a lot of stability in business. Now, remember with your love life, I was like, Argh. so it's usually when one's good, the other's bad. So you're going to have stability in business, which means whatever happened in spring, is not going to affect you. It really isn't. Okay, good. Yeah, this is, okay. This is you having knowledge. So I love this card. This has come up in a few other readings. Um, the nine of clubs is somebody who's walking into the forest. And it's really great because you can only walk halfway into a forest before you're walking out. So whenever you're in a period of confusion and this card comes up or like, I don't know what happened or da, 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 this means confusion is clearing. It's not 100% clear, but it's, it's getting better. Every day is getting better. Now, it says the money may not be what you wanted. The money is going to be like mm, either flatlined or maybe a little lower, but it doesn't matter because work is coming in, okay? Work is piling in. So with this money card being in reverse here in the summer, make sure in January, February, March, you, you have that investment that we talked about. So you have something to pull from just in case, okay? But it does say work is rushing towards you opportunity success is rushing towards you. And the whole thing is this is building a stable foundation for your money. So that you cannot go wrong with. Stable foundation is the best thing. Okay. So fall is October, November, December. We're ending the year up. Well, you know, you've had a great reading so far. Let's see what happens October, November, December. So this is things coming back around. 
this is items repeating. This is not the death card. This is actually the renewal card. And it's kind of like karma, things coming back around. Um, there was a really great book. Um, if, if you guys don't know, I'm actually a, a psychologist. And there was a psychology book called Spiral Dynamics that I read. If you ever get a chance, I believe it's like a textbook. So it's a little, it's a little spendy. It's probably like 50 to 80 bucks for like the book. But, um, and who know who knows nowadays because they scan everything, but um, probably get it much cheaper. But that's what the death card is like to me. And, and Spiral Dynamics talks about you're constantly living on a spiral. So it might feel like you're traveling, but you're, so you can, so the spiral either gets bigger, right? Or it gets smaller, it gets tighter, but you're always living on a spiral. And what happens when you complete a cycle, when you come back to that same starting point, you're going to encounter the same things, the same things, the same people, the same challenges, but you're at a different level of the spiral. So it, it's, it's almost like the spiral testing you if you've learned or not. That's one of my crazy rants, but hopefully some of you got it. And some of you are just like, this lady's nuts, but that's okay. That's why I'm psychic. So let's see, Leo, what's going to happen in October, November for money sitting at a desk, money coming in. Okay. Just the only thing you're not going to do is travel. That's excellent. These are actually really excellent cards to end the year with Leo golf clap for your reading. My goodness. So except for that relationship, that's a little up and down. I mean, you, you still end up really well for the year. And even that relationship, don't forget, comes back around. So you get another chance. This says things come back around. So that little hiccup that you had in the spring and a little bit in the summer, it shows you with at sitting at the desk, which work is coming in. Good. This is, this means money notification, good news about money. He's announcing like, Hey, there's some stuff going on. There's money in the bank. And then all this is saying is like, you're either going to stabilize and not shoot up, or it means you're not going to travel. That That's all that means. That's it. This is really a, a, a not worry about card, but you have that death foundation, which means you have a chance for renewal and you have a chance you're on the spiral. You're going back to the same spot to do things better. Okay. So we took the spiral the whole year and uh, 2021 looks excellent for you, Leos. My goodness, my goodness, my Guinness. So good for you. So if you like that reading, please hit like, share, subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber. I really, really would. That'd be so nice. Um, I do these free readings all the time and I have a bunch of other products. If you need spells or if you need special products for you, just let me know. And I do readings, text message or on the phone. So either way you can get your reading. And if you liked it, uh, you know, please say a little something or send a link to somebody else you know that would like a reading. I'd be more than happy to uh, share with them. And all these readings are free just because I like to give back. So thank you so much, Leos. Let your light shine. Make 2021 kick ass, which it seems like you will. And uh, enjoy those first three months, both in money and in love. Check out the links below. Have a great day. Thanks so much.